Hey everyone, it's Craig Reckless. Um, today's lesson is going to be one of the funnest songs you hear in an arena or a stadium. Um, it's like uh, it's one of the songs that they play after uh, they score a goal in hockey or they score a goal in football. Um, but it's uh, I think it's called uh, Rock and Roll Part Two, and it's by Gary Glitter. But don't quote me on that. But it's really fun. I'm gonna uh, I'm representing my favorite team, Canadians. Canadians rock. They're they're they're, they're always the best at hockey. Um, we're good at America's. We're good at making cheeseburgers, but uh, you know. Um, so I, uh, I'm just gonna want to play this song and play it with my Band-Aid here. My pick you slide out of my Band-Aid here. I'm gonna pull this off anyways. Um, so it goes like this. <laughs> So you can do whatever you want, get fancy with it, add some stuff in there, like play it a couple times and uh, that's like the whole beef of the song, I mean I don't know if there's more to the song, I don't really think there is, but uh, you know you play it in a bar or anywhere, people get all hyped up, especially like during playoffs and stuff, uh, but I'm going to show you how to uh, play it, so for you uh, advanced people, you probably already learned how to play it, so but I'm going to show you how to play it, it's, uh, it's uh, um, octaves, so if you haven't learned about octaves, Go check out my octave video. Um, so it starts out with E. So right to E. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So we're like almost galloping here. So down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. And then the octave's coming. We're going to go. I like using my pinky in here. I don't know why. I, and the, on my other octave, uh, I'm, when I'm teaching octaves, I, I try to use the first and third fingers because I want you to be able to do that. But uh, I, I like using my pinky every now and then. It's more, uh, gives me more uh, room to spread out. So what we're going to do on our octaves here, we're going to play two, four, five. Okay, so that's all going to be on the... Uh, um, the fifth string. So we're gonna go. Now the octave. So we're gonna have our third finger or our fourth finger on the third string. And that's gonna be four, six, seven. When we when we do the octaves, because we're playing a bass note and a high note here. to four which is gonna be seven and the third string to six we're gonna go four to two on the fifth string that's four to two so on the uh, third string it's gonna be um, six to four so let's put those together does it again. One more time. Now that time he goes from four to seven. So on the uh, third string it's going to be six to nine. And go to seven to six on the fifth string. And uh, the third string is going to be nine to eight. So see that? So there he goes. So that's going to be in B. Um, so the octave is going to be on the second fret of the fifth string, and the uh, third string is going to be uh, the fourth fret. Now he's gonna do that. He's gonna go. So he's gonna watch that. He's gonna go. So we're not gonna 
when we go to if we're going seven to five, the five we're not gonna pick. We're gonna let it slide. <laughs> See how my hands up? I'm not picking it. It's I'm sliding. So you gotta push real hard and slide right down to five. <laughs> hey! It does that. So you'll you'll hear that in the song. So. <laughs> So that, right there we're going uh, five to seven, and that's gonna now we're gonna be on a sixth string. So so it's gonna be like E to D to A to B. These are still octaves. Fancy, you can add stuff to it. Be done with it. So that's that. So.